The time has come to go home and see my babies. It's gonna be an emotional goodbye. Look at that iguana. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm having an allergic reaction to something. Gina, I'm gonna have to like find an EMT. The time has come to go home and see my babies and I feel so bad. You guys, back in Utah we have a thing called daylight savings. Some people have it, some people don't. It's where the time changes and misses all the little children up. Well, my sweet sister that has zero kids is back with my children. They were up at like, all of them were up by 6.20. They called me at 6.20 with everyone awake. I was like, oh, Brie, I'm so sorry. So, thank you Brie, we love you. Thank you to everyone who has helped watch our kids. I really appreciate it. I have felt like they were safe and happy and well cared for and that's the biggest thing for a mama. So excited to be going home to see them today but it is a full day of travel. We're just about done packing up in here. We have to be out by 11 and it is 10.02. So we'll get out of here about an hour early, head into San Juan an hour away, kind of do a little bit more souvenir shopping and then we got to return the car and get on the plane. I am so excited to get home and see my babies. Although this trip has been needed, wanted, loved, and appreciated. Just like each of you. So if you like feeling needed, wanted, and loved, go ahead and subscribe right now to our channel. Be part of Team Hour. We love to have you here, and we're glad you're here to watch us on the good and the bad, the ups and the downs, the Caribbean life, back to the mountains of Utah. It's all a joyful ride. So unfortunately, our clothes still have like 20 minutes in the dryer. I didn't want to bring them home like, they were so dirty, you guys. Yesterday was really, really dirty water. And I was like, I don't wanna bring home all that sand and water, let alone our suitcase would be heavier. So they have 20 more minutes in the dryer. We are gonna hurry and go down to the beach and say goodbye to the beach. It's gonna be an emotional goodbye. I think a lot of water. We'll, we'll flow. Gosh, that thing is the biggest I've ever seen. That was so oh big. Literally that car, the white car up there just swerved. Like they <laughs> almost crashed in that other car to avoid the iguana. Wow. Wow. Here they that see. Was super Why did cool. the iguana cross the road? <laughs> <laughs> to get to the fort on the other side. Only job today was to get souvenirs for the kids. And that's actually turning out to be a lot harder than we thought because over down by the airport there's no touristy things, which doesn't make sense, right? Because everybody coming in off the airport is touristy. But so we have headed back into Old San Juan, which means we've overshot the airport by like half an hour. I'm starting to get a little bit stressed for time. We have to be back to the rental place in two hours. So that gives us like a little bit of time, park, grab. We haven't eaten breakfast yet. Get all the souvenirs. Peyton decided that she wants um, this hoodie that I saw over here. So Peyton, this is for you. We are coming all the way over here just for you. For one event, we made it through TSA, Customs, and what was the other thing? The line? So we were here. We were here in the airport. Yes, the car rental, the shuttle over to the car rental. It has been crazy. We did our souvenir shopping and got like a lot of stuff. A lot of good stuff. I'm excited about. Way too much. More than JD would have wanted me to. But my bag was 50 pounds exactly, so clearly it wasn't too much. Our flight was actually delayed. So we have two and a half hours until our flight, but we're here. We're just gonna do some chilling. I'm gonna get the vlog uploaded to you guys. We'll be out of here. And you guys, I'm having an allergic reaction to something. We don't know what it is. I have hives. Can you see them? Which makes me a little nervous because it's near like the organs I need to breathe with, you know? I'm wondering if it's either, I just ate like a really spicy uh, Domino's. Judy says it wasn't spicy at all. <laughs> also, I washed this mask with their laundry detergent, so maybe it's their laundry detergent, but I'm like, like everything on my face is getting itchy. Oh, and I can't take it off in the airport. I am wandering around the airport looking for Benadryl because the hives have gone down my neck. Which is not good because Benadryl is not great for your milk supply. And I have been pumping all week so that I could go home to Rocky and keep nursing him, but my milk supply has gone down. So I'm 
feeling kind of anxious about it already, but I'm so itchy. Like, it's like now it's up here. It's ugh, so bad. Okay, I'm gonna go ask an airport worker for a new mask. And then if it doesn't stop itching, I'm gonna have to like find an EMT and see if they have any Benadryl. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. My hives have gone down and we are finally starting to load. We are going to be late, which is gonna make it very likely we miss our next flight, but crossing our fingers, traveling home soon is interesting. We're going to see our babies. Yeah. We're going to see our babies. I think I'm more excited to see my kids than I was to leave my kids. So that's <laughs> definite, definite improvement. We made it. We just ran down the aisle. They are loading group four. We're, I think, in like group seven. So I just FaceTimed the kids as we were running and I am so homesick. I just want to get there. Four and a half hour flight. Then we have to get our car, then drive home. We can do this, team. We can do this. We landed. We are one step closer to our baby. This time change is kicking our butt. <laughs> so it is 2.20 in Puerto Rico right now. We still have probably like an hour and a half out. I'm so tired. I'm gonna be driving like this. Actually, he's gonna be driving. Like Guess what? He's like, I love this love, but whatever it is. We are finally home. Happy New Year. And then he woke us up so dang early. 6.30, doesn't we that, it's not that early. stumbled into the house at like probably 1.00. Hey, we flew one. home. <laughs> we stumbled into the house about 1 a.m. The kids had us up, which would have been 4 a.m. Puerto Rico time. Hey. The kids had me up by 5.15. Yep. We're so glad to be home. Thank you guys for joining us in Puerto Rico. And as much as that was paradise, this is 100% even better. 100%. Oh, 1,000. So thank you guys for being here. Please subscribe if you have not tomorrow or actually the rest today. of today. We are going to be telling you five things to do in Puerto Rico and five things not to do. So you won't want to miss that. For now, we are gonna go help our kids get off to school, get a shower, start some laundry. So we will see you next time. Bye Peace guys. Out, dudes. Peace out.